In this ISTQB Agile Tester Certification tutorial, we'll discuss about assessing quality risks in Agile project. So risk analysis is common across all the projects. It doesn't matter which type of project you are working or even if you have worked in the old development methodologies like waterfall and V model, we used to do a lot of risk analysis in those as well. So it's kind of similar in agile project as well. The risk analysis is the same. It's basically at what point in the project you do that is a bit different. And uh, that's what we are going to dis discuss where you do the quality risk analysis in agile project and what are the actions that you take to mitigate those those risks and um, categorize those risks. So before we go further, let's understand what a risk is and what uh, the risk likelihood and impact means. So risk is any factor that may create a negative outcome. So for example, risk is something which might not occur at all. Say you are working in an e-commerce uh, project. Uh, one of the risks could be that the whole portal getting down, right? You don't have the high availability setup and uh, your web server got crashed and you are not able to access the e-commerce portal. And that impacts the overall um, sale of your e-commerce store that's sort of risk if it became an outcome then it's a lot of impact on the business so risk is something which might create a negative outcomes for example server getting crashed now it might not happen at all but if in case it happens what is the likelihood of that particular risk to occur and if it occurs what's the impact right so that's uh, risk is something which can create a negative outcome and the level of risk is identified by the likelihood and impact. Say, same example like e-commerce. Say, for example, you are uh, taking an example of the Amazon uh, e-commerce store. Now, you can imagine if uh, the likelihood of getting Amazon e-commerce store uh, down or uh, crashing is high or very high. You can imagine the impact of the sales that it could um, have in just 10 minutes downtime. So with that impact, you can analyze how big the risk is, right? Or how, how um, what should be the category of the risk? So if it is a huge impact on the business, then it's a high, it's categorized as very high or critical risk. And if it is a less impact on the business or if it is something which might occur, you know, like after hours and it can be taken care in um, by the next day, then that is something that can be categorized as medium or low. So risks are identified by um, categorizing them into the likelihood and uh, the impact of the uh, occurrence. Now, if the risk impacts the project success, it is categorized as the, as the project risks. For example, um, team members um, uh, leaving the company. So what is the, what is the um, impact on the project delivery or the timeline? That could be one of the project risks. But if it is a quality risk on the product, for example, uh, performance, your, your product is not meeting the performance, your website is not getting giving you the response that you are um, that you um, ask for so for example uh, a person comes on your e-commerce store and he's not able to uh, add the product in the cart in like less than two seconds then he'll just abandon the cart and go away so that's sort of product quality risk or the product risk and typical objective of testing is to reduce the product or quality risk to an acceptable level. So that's the major objective of testing that you re you reduce the quality risk to an acceptable level so that stakeholders then can make decision to release the project uh, to product in the market or to not release the product in the market. So unless and until the quality risk in the is in the acceptable level, product won't be released in the market. Now in agile project, quality risk analysis is done in two places. 
first is when you are doing the release planning and second is when you are doing the iteration planning now in release planning the business representative may provide an overview of the features that will be included in the release and any perceived risk associated with them along with the business stakeholder development team and testing team will contribute to the discussion and come up with the details of the risk and identify what further um, uh, things need to be done to uh, categorize the likelihood and the impact if that particular risk occurs so that that's what happens in the release planning phase now in iteration planning it is more detail level and in the iteration planning you do the estimate you do the tasks for the story and you do the estimate for the task as well now in the iteration planning for each task or for, for each story the risks are being discussed in a detailed manner and the whole team discusses the risks and what are what is the impact or likelihood if that particular risk happens or occurs and based on that risk the overall test design and the level of testing that needs to be done for that particular story or task is defined so that the risk uh, comes to an acceptable level now let's see what um, the quality risk analysis life cycle is so the first thing that you do in quality risk analysis is to identify the quality risks then the second thing is analyze the risks and third is define the test so that's the overall cycle of quality risk analysis now in identifying the quality risk analysis the whole team meets to identify the quality risk analysis which in includes business stakeholders um, as well as the whole development team and in the current iteration backlog items are displayed and everyone goes through the item and discusses the item the quality characteristics and any of the risks that could happen for those tasks that are defined uh, that are discussed in those in that particular iteration backlog now the second step is to analyze each of the risks so for example you have discussed all the risks in the iteration um, then though all those risks are analyzed for the likelihood and impact and they are categorized into the product project or business or technical risks and based on the category uh, and likelihood and impact uh, how whether they'll materialize the level of impact they are categorized as high medium low and once they are categorized in different categories then the test cases are defined to mitigate those those risks so the team determines the extent of testing that is required uh, for the level of risk right so if there is there is a product risk that has in has been identified that could have a massive impact on the business if it uh, it is an outcome then you will provide or you will do a lot of testing around that particular area for example performance or the response time for the website should be less than two two seconds right uh, if it is you know like more than two seconds um, user will lose the interest and they'll abandon the website and they will never come back so if that's the uh, that's the massive risk for your business then you will put a lot of effort on testing that particular functionality to ensure that the response time it doesn't matter what the situation is how many customers are uh, uh, how many customers are there concurrently so considering uh, you have defined your non um, functional requirement um, accurately uh, it should respond within that specified uh, time frame or less than 2 second to the customer so these test cases are defined based on the risk um, likelihood and impact so this is the overall quality risk analysis uh, cycle now what are some of the quality risk examples right so we'll take some of the examples that are uh, there for the quality risk for example the first one is slow application response to user which is very common across um, all the uh, applications that you see nowadays so 
any of the um, applications or the successful uh, companies that you see nowadays you, like gmail amazon twitter uh, facebook uh, have you seen you know like there are so many millions of users uh, hitting that particular portal at a time uh, but still the response time is always um, less than you know like one second or not not more than one second so if this response time becomes 10 seconds no one will uh, would even you know like bother to open that particular portal they'll abandon and they'll not come back because it's not a good user experience that user is just waiting for the application to load so slow application response is one of the major quality risks in current market scenario then the second thing is incorrect calculation in shopping carts so for example you are uh, on a, a particular website or particular e-commerce portal and you are purchasing some of the products and you come up to the shopping cart and you saw the calculation of the total is not correct so that is the major risk or quality risk as well because it questions the credibility of the organization that they didn't even uh, bother to check the calculation logic of the shopping cart so people will um, not come back to the portal uh, the next quality risk is system crashes after certain amount of time so that's another performance or non-functional requirement that um, that is possible that your system crashes after certain amount of time and that's another major quality risk whether the system is recoverable so system system recoverability is another quality risk is the system able to recover from software or hardware failure so in case the system fails whether uh, your system is able to recover from the failure or not then whether the software works correctly on all the platforms so nowadays there are so many platforms linux windows mac os and there are so many different flavors of linux and windows uh, server and etc if you are launching your software to be supported on just one particular platform that won't be um, that won't be uh, a good approach because you will be losing a lot of market which uh, a lot of uh, segment in the market which is using another platform so that's another major quality risk whether your application or your software that you're delivering whether it supports other platforms or not similarly for the apps nowadays whether your app is supported on ios and android as well or if it just works on the ios applications so um, that's another quality risk that is possible uh, the next thing is a uh, web application doesn't load on all supported browser that's another major quality risk if your application is the web-based application you should be testing it across all the multiple browsers available there and which are being used widely like internet explorer chrome and firefox so whether your application works properly on off uh, on all these applications or not that's the main um, that's another important thing that you need to make sure uh, in the quality risk as well so these are some of the key quality risks that you need to remember and make sure that you um, uh, memorize all the quality risk that could be possible what are the risks what is the quality risk um, analysis uh, cycle etc before you actually go for the ISTQB agile tester certification exam thank you